We hope this will be a major contribution through an authoritative report on South Africa's massive and growing unemployment crisis. We're at 10.3 million people, uh, nearly 39% of our workforce who are unemployed. They're looking and want to, they would like a job in this in economy and they cannot get one. Um, we're hoping, we're calling for a new approach to how we deal with jobs. Stop with the job summits, the special initiatives, all the projects. You've got to focus on the key challenge, which is that South Africa will not get faster growth unless we introduce some major reforms in our economy. And we won't, even if we got growth, we won't get labor intensive growth unless we introduce reforms to the labor market. And these need to be carefully calibrated but we are putting forward a set of reforms to both those issues, how to get faster growth and how to change the nature of the labor market to build a much more labor intensive economy, especially for unskilled workers. Most of South Africa's workers have come out of a very bad education system and that's one of the reasons they're struggling to find jobs. We have failed to build a skilled workforce as a society over many generations, but unfortunately in the democratic two decades, two and a half decades, we haven't done much better. So we failed to build a skilled workforce and we have introduced legislation that has encouraged employers to hire more and more expensive skilled workers, semi-skilled and skilled workers. So we pushed we increasingly push unskilled people who through no fault of their own come out of a bad education system, have never had a job. They're harder and harder to hire in our, in our economy. So we're saying you've got to change the nature of South Africa's economy. We should stop subsidizing capital investment and uh, firms that use more and more machines and we should put much more emphasis on encouraging employers to hire more workers. So we've got to make the employment relationship cheaper and easier um, while protecting basic rights. But we also need to encourage more firms to start up in South Africa overall, big, small, medium size. Got to get that environment much more conducive to firms expanding and starting up, but also firms that focus on labor intensive production. So you look at Asia and many countries, not just China, not just Vietnam, Bangladesh and other places, they start the kind of takeoff with um, labor intensive manufacturing. Your t-shirt, my t-shirt, and s people get experience. So that just getting a job a formal job is an important, it's almost like a school. You learn things that on the job, discipline of work, know-how, um, networks of how to get a better job or where there are other jobs or what you need to know, that people who are unemployed don't get at all. So they don't have a job and they don't have access to all the things we take for granted that we learn and experience in employment. So the economy has to change to create lots more jobs and in order to do that we must stop pushing up the the price of of workers in South Africa and the cost to employers because at the end of the day it's much better to have a job even a low wage job initially than no job at all well we're a policy think tank our job is to put new ideas out and new policy proposals and based on facts and research into the public arena. We hope to influence important people in our society with a strong voice uh, backed up by documents on, it's clear to everybody that the country is in deep trouble and that the approach to growth and the approach to employment is failing. Um, for two years of the new president, we've been told about job summits and all sorts of other things, but the jobs, the numbers of jobs are declining. And we're saying you need a fundamentally different approach and you can't keep avoiding the reforms that are required. Um, that's what the job summit was about, was about avoiding the 
the big issues and trying to find all sorts of initiatives and projects that might help. Well, this is not the road, road to go. We have millions and millions of people unemployed. We have to change the nature of our economy and the structure of our labour markets to, to bring in smaller firms, smaller enterprises, newer firms, and to get a, a very different environment going, if we're to hope to start moving the dial on unemployment. Otherwise, unemployment will continue to rise and it will have devastating impacts for the individuals and for our society.